looking for a stronger start against the Oilers based on their past two meetings. Yeah, they've had a couple tough starts against Edmonton, so they want to be better. And both teams really looking for some consistency. Playing it up to Connor McDavid. McDavid looking for Hyman, and it was picked up momentarily. And coming back the other way are the Flames. Walker Dewar, a pass in front tip. Home by Nazem Kadri, and there's the game's first goal. one nothing for the Flames. Goal number 21 on the season for Nazem Godry, who's been heating up of late. Right there off the stick on the entry. No! And then the Flames just go to the net. Just a great job to drive right through the middle by Kadri. Perfect little feed by Dewar. A little elevation on the backhand chip. Goes up over top of the glove hand side of Skinner. And a 1-0 lead. We just talked about the start of this game for Peltier, but no shot. Peltier battling to get that puck. Dreisaitl got to it, kept in, walking in, Weger shoots, Skinner the stop. Getting it to the point, Mackenzie Weger takes a look, finds Mangiapane, pass to the middle, back to Mangiapane, moving to the net, Skinner shuts the door, and the Oilers. Back home to Hyman, Hyman taking a look, centering pass blocked by Shillington. Ends up behind the net, Echo in front, and it's Vladar again up to the task. And if you remember, Vladar was lights out to start the last oh, Battle of Alberta as well. Facing a lot of rubber early in that one. Here's Pahal now. Moving it to Zeri. Over to Pospisil through. And he scores! And just like that, the Flames are off and running. It's 2 to nothing early in the Battle of Alberta. There's been a couple chances at the other end for Edmonton they've created, but for the most part, it's been the Flames that have been able to transition the puck up. This is a beautiful little sauce pass into the middle. And for Pospisil, he just absolutely passed too far for McDavid. Cut off by Hunt. In front of the Oilers bench, the Flames steal. Backlund moves in with Hunt. Backlund stops, finds Hannafin, shoots, he scores! period for the Calgary Flames. That's Noah Hannafin's 10th of the season. Uses the stick to take it away, interfered just enough, and then a turnover once again. We talked about this. Puck battle turnovers have cost Edmonton in this game early, and it costs here with Hannafin pinching down. Nice pass by Backlund to find him, and he zips that one far side under the bar. For that short-handed opportunity, the Flames with 10 short-handed goals this season. Here's a lane to the net for Dreisaitl. Oh, and he collides hard with Vladar. Play continues. Vladar back in the crease. McDavid a pass in front. Vladar unable to stop that one. Hyman scores. Goal number 36 of the season for Zach Hyman, tying his career high. The Oilers are back in it. Puts the shoulder down. Now does get bumped into by Shillington. And then bam, he runs right into Vladar. Weger thought there should have been a call. And that was top speed for Dreisaitl too. Trying to tuck in and get to the backhand to the forehand. And then the ensuing play puck to the net. Stay with him. But there it is there. I mean, that's a clipping play. Royce shove from behind. No penalty. No arms were up. Vladar, good job by him to get right back up. Make the first save. But he can't. Carter Ryan and Louis with the call of the second period. Thank you, Scott. Second period underway here as the hate is on between these two. McDavid and Dreisaitl back out there together. So good news for the Oilers on that front as we showed earlier, Dreisaitl was feeling it on the bench. Here's McDavid taken down hard. And here's a breakaway. And it's in. He scores! There's a new career high in goals for Zach Hyman, who's up to 37, putting the Oilers within one. What a pass. Two Calgary defenders. This is a big hit by Coleman Booth. And that's on Connor McDavid. He flattens it in the offensive zone, but the puck pops to Dreisel. He sings this one through. Weger gets a big chunk of it, but it gets through right to Hyman, who's on the breakaway. And he makes a power move to the backhand side elevation up over top of Ladar. We've got to fight that break so yeah, oh, yeah Letting them fly. Oh, holy jeez. Wow. Coleman trying to answer back. 
Spirited tilt. Wow. And I think Yanmark surprised Coleman here. The fisticuffs. I mean, the glove shed pretty quickly. It was Yanmark. He got about seven or eight, nine right hands going. And then Coleman responded with a couple right hands himself. Yanmark a little bigger in this exchange here. And he got the right hand in the groove early. But everyone's standing up now at Rogers Place after that spirited tilt. Hunt to the point. One timer from Pahal steered aside by Stuart Skinner. Jonathan Uber to park behind the net. All the way to Hunt who shoots and scores! The Flames regain the two goal lead thanks to Dryden Hunt's first of the season. Uh, Dryden Hunt's got a rocket. High praise from Ryan Huska, how he's been able to step into the lineup, play in different situations, elevate if he has to, and he absolutely picks this corner. Beautiful pass by Uberdo from behind the net, threads it through right to him. Has to go high because he has to get over the sprawled player in front of the net. And that's Corey Perry. Dive back to Hannafin to the point. It's Rasmus Anderson. Oh. Hannafin wants it, shoots. Loose in front, not cleared. Anderson to Seri. Keeps Hannafin, scores! His second of the night, 11th of the season, and it's 5 2 for the Calgary Flames. And he sets a new career high in goals. Noah Hannafin, that was the third time that he had 10 goals in a season. His first one that he had in this game, that's his 11th. Here on this power play by the Flames, the first blast oh. saved by Skinner. Right there, a good chance to whack at it by Backlund, but it gets put right back out to Anderson. Pass to Zarya, and he finds that cross seam right to Hannafin. Sells it. And what a finish by Hannafin. Beautiful pass by Zarya. He's had a couple in this game. Eventually to Anderson, Dryden Hunt, worked over by Nurse, a big hit by Ekholm in the corner as Huberto's shaken up. Back on his feet though, given Ekholm a couple of cross checks. This is going to get heated here. This is going to, this is going to boil over And here's bit. Perry dropping the mitts. Here we go. So another disturbance and boiling over once again. Well, you saw this coming. It was at home on Uberdo first. Uberdo with a couple good cross checks. No arms well. And they're still having a conversation here through the linesman. I mean, gloves are up right there. And Perry once again engaged with Uyghur in that corner who came all the way down into the mix. A willing combatant. Two grizzled veterans there. They have words going off the ice. And then here's the hit by at home on Uberdo. And Uberdo gets up and gives him a couple solid cross checks in the number. And puts the big man down, and then everybody converges in, and then Perry and Weger go at it. They're letting it play. <laughs> wow. This is why everyone loves the Battle of Alberta. But his value is just skyrocketing here, especially with tonight's performance, but how he's played this entire <laughs> season. So seven and a half to go here. Chris Knobloch doing the full Patrick Waugh. Styles, we saw Patrick Watt do it real awfully early recently. Here's Hyman near the net. Ladar out to challenge, kept it out. Pulled it all the way down the ice, and he puts it home. Blake Coleman's team leading 23rd of the season. It's 6-2 for the Flames. Throwing them down the ice, and one might go in. Good chance here for Hyman looking for his hat trick. And this bobbled around right by McDavid and Coleman right down Main Street. Said, I'm not wasting any time. That's a strong game. He picked up his first assist. His first point as a flame. Been a physical player as well in this game. Chance for Yammer! And he puts it home! Spirited scrap earlier with Blake Coleman after a big hit on Connor McDavid and retaliation to that and just a little puck that slips through everybody and he says thank you. Kind of a little back pass that goes right through everybody but Yanmark with his speed still built up is able to pick it up go to the backhand and down low backland pass blocked by Nurse puck cleared dying seconds of this one and that's going to do it.
the Calgary Flames with their first victory in the Battle of Alberta this season. Final score, 6-3.